Well, hello there, this is Richard Spirits Gaiden, and this is Sekiro Shooting Stars Alpha on the Nintendo Switch console. Here's the Switch dashboard, momentarily. This is Nis America, and apparently you can earn platinum points for this game. This is a compilation. It has several vertically scrolling shooting maps on it, and one kind of horizontal sort of screen filling shooting map. Anyway, let's, let's play Strikers 1945. Uh, we're playing this in a horizontal mode. You can play all these games in Tate mode, but we're going to play them in horizontal mode so they fit on the screen. And this I've reviewed from the San. This version plays uh, very similarly to that. I've never played the arcade version of this. It's kind of a fun game. You mow down what I'm assuming are Nazi tanks and airplanes with extreme violence, prejudice, and glorious weapon sets, including lasers, frickin' lasers, and massive lasers. There's a lot of laser-based action in your prop aircraft from the 1940s. Uh, you're shooting trains here, collecting gold. How a plane collects gold, I don't know. This isn't realistic, this isn't a simulation. This is a, a vertically scrolling shooting up from the 90s. Uh, as you can see, it's got some uh, transforming bosses and plenty of bullets. It's a fun game. I do like Strikers 1945, it's cool. It's visually very tidy and uh, this version plays nicely and like I say, you can play it in Tate mode, so if you've got a rotatable monitor, you get the full screen effects. Plenty of planes to choose from. Yeah, tight game. So, all these Sikio games tend to play very similarly to each other. So we're just going to run through a few of them. Strikers 1945 2 is striker is the um, sequel to Strikers 1945. Uh, I'm sure you wouldn't be surprised to hear that, but it is the inferior sequel to uh, Strikers 1945 visually. Gameplay-wise, it's more or less the same. We've got some horrible renders here. So whereas the first game did double down on the pixel graphics, they suddenly decided that their computers could run 3D Studio Max and that they would model and render a lot of these graphics. Therefore, the presentation is dirtier. It's stinky, because no one likes pre-rendered graphics. But they're dirty horses. Um, weird. Anyway, I've got a flying pancake here, and a flying pancake shoots lasers. Every single plane in this game that you control has some sort of laser beam. So again, not historically accurate. There's something going on with the background there where the perspective doesn't work, where they've merged uh, random photographs together to make that background. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, so gameplay-wise, similar to the original, uh, but graphically inferior in a lot of ways. Even though there's like more animation and stuff, uh, just, just slightly uglier. Uh, music is a bit more forgettable kind of feels a bit more generic. The first one had what felt like a chiptune, a staring chiptune soundtrack with lots of bombast. This is like a generic sort of anime show soundtrack, which is weird. Uh, got transforming bosses. That's all cool. Sikyo are kind of hot and that stuff, aren't they? They love their stuff that changes into robots at the last minute to uh, surprise you with more death. We've got some stealth bomber action here. That was my smart bomb. So you do have smart bombs. And as usual in Sikio games, if you hold down the fire button for any length of time, you get a charge shot. Which is handy. Oh, I successfully dodged that bullet and then decided to fly into it. That was stupendous work there. Yeah, I don't like Strikers 1942 that much. I have to say, I prefer the original, much prefer the original. So that's on here anyway. Strikers 1945 2, that is. 
plus striker is 1945.3. Randomly, we've got Soul Divide on there, as you could see from the uh, screenshot. I don't know why Soul Divide's on here. Not a very good game. Uh, now, I've never really played this game uh, until this compilation. So I have no history with it. It is... It's alright. It plays like Strikers 1945. But as you can see, you've got more futuristic planes. You've got slightly tidier graphics than 45.2. Um, Strikers 2, that is. Uh, but they're all pre-rendered. They're all pre-rendered. Uh, which is ugly, as I've discussed before. It's a very similar game. It's got an even worse soundtrack in some ways than the second game. So the for the Strikers games, I'm going to have to say, I think the first one is where it's at. This is okay? This is okay. Um, do I prefer it to the second one? It's very similar, to be, to be fair, in my mind. Not similar visually, I just mean similar in quality. It's, it's alright, it's fine. It's on this compilation, so uh, it's one of the games you're paying for. This compilation is about 35 quid. Uh, you get for your game for your 35 quid, you get seven games, usually six or seven games. Is it seven games? I think it's seven games, and uh, so that's five quid a piece, uh, plus the satisfaction of having a cartridge. Now you can get a special edition of this, both of these games. Well, you used to be able to. And it comes with a little art book and um, a couple of other, like postcards and stuff in the box. Not not really worth it. And uh, that's about 60 quid. I would just stick with the standard versions if you want the games. Although I do believe a lot of these games are available on the on the Switch anyway, on the eShop, which is I guess there'll be about five or each on there. So yeah, probably worth buying the cartridge in that case. Soul Divide has always been a weird game. I, can, I had it on the Saturn years ago, but I never liked it, and. Um, it's mainly because of the pre-rendered graphics again. Sikio went through a stage of just rendering everything and they weren't very good at it. And this game suffers immensely. I mean, just look at this shoddy shit right here. We've got some crap, crappy looking sprites, uh, 3D models turned into sprites on a crappy looking digitized background and uh, some FMV clouds got a pair of parallax scrolling there the actual gameplay on this is not so bad it's a horizontal shooter and you can do melee attacks your flying dude has a sword and if I just pressed on one of the other buttons I could hit people with a sword but I didn't do it I think actually, no, I think you take your finger off the fire button you just press the fire button really near you and he slashes, there you go uh, again, I'm not playing this live. Uh, I have recorded it and I'm trying to remember back. But, uh, yeah, I always hated this game. I, the visuals are so disgusting that I don't want to play it. So I've got like a, a couple of dragons there. Whew. Scary stuff. Shoot the bats. I don't know why every person in this universe can fly. Maybe they're all angels. Uh, I've got a wizard there. He's firing purple purple balls at me. Don't ever let a man hit you in the face with purple balls. That's what my mum always used to say. I've got dudes on dragons. I guess they're dragons. They could be turds with wings. They don't look great. Uh, pick up the, the leaf. Everyone likes a bit of leaf. Uh, okay. Sort of digitized background here. Not very good. Oh, something's just launched. Meteor strike on the earth. Oh, now we've got a bigger pre rendered dragon who also looks crappy. Yeah. Oh, I slashed him up a tree. Take that to your knees. You don't like sword and knees, do you? Uh, lovely. You didn't like you didn't like sword in the knees. You got sword in the knees, just right where you didn't want it. Ha! Shoot, shoot him in the guts, blow him up. Anyway, soul divide. Don't like it. This, however, Dragon Blaze, does have some pre-rendered graphics in it. But 
and what I like about this is they're kind of drawn over it but also the game itself is pretty damn cool you sort of fly up the screen it's vertically scrolling again you can pick Ian here because Ian's got the best name in the world which is Ian if you're going to be a hero from an ancient age do be called Ian um, so you've got you got the pre-rendered graphics here which are super attractive but what you do have is they have a dragon which you can launch like a special weapon up the screen and it kind of like obliterates everything that it touches so if you get bigger enemies when they come on the screen you fire a dragon and it like belly flops onto them and like blows them up that's cool I like the uh, fantasy theme in this and the music is suitably interesting and you've got this thing where these coins come out of the enemies that you destroy and that's quite a satisfying so I found this game actually uh, to be the best game on this compilation after a while although I do like Zero Gunner 2 I prefer the Dreamcast version the version that they've got on the Switch uses widescreen and it makes it much easier and this game uh, it's not a game I've ever played in the arcade or any other format. I think you could get this on PS2. So this version is the first version I ever played. And I was pleasantly surprised by how cool I found it. Uh, even though graphically it's a bit of a mixed bag. Is it Bullet Heli as well? Which is kind of groovy. That explosion is disgusting. Uh, well animated, but disgusting. Yeah, it's a bit like Gumba crossed with um, like the presentation lead. They kind of use the same things that they do in Gumba. Oh, everyone likes a sci-fi mushroom background, don't they? Yeah, I like the graphical theme and the design of the enemies in this. Uh, not the not necessarily the graphical rendering, but the graphical theme. So yeah, I played this game quite a bit. I'm not very good at it, as you can see. That's, it was on super easy there because normal mode on this game is bloody hard. I don't really know if there's a way I can use the dragon to stop myself getting destroyed by all these bullets. Um, I'd have to watch someone who knows what they're doing in this game play it properly to give me some hints. Because I think I'm not really playing it correctly. It can't really be this hard, can it? Anyway, let's play the last game on the compilation. The last game is, I believe, Zero Gunner 2, which is a quality game, but like I said, I prefer the Dreamcast version because it's on the Switch slightly easier because you've got more screen space to move your helicopter around in. It means that uh, you don't get shot as much. So there you go. It's got a slightly random control system. You kind of press a button and it locks your helicopter into like a Z targeting thing. Like Zelda said, targeting. So that crosshair appears and your helicopter rotates around the crosshair and uh, lets you shoot in multiple directions. As you can see, graphically, it's quite tidy. It's probably because of the higher resolution. Better looking than the Dreamcast one. But I think it uses exactly the same assets. So it's higher resolution and um, same assets but higher resolution. And then it just tidies it up a little bit. So it's pretty cool. Shooting a train here. We shoot lots of trains in Sikio games. So do I recommend this compilation? Uh, yes, I do. It's got a Dragon Blaze is Ace. Uh, Zero Gunner Two is Ace. Strikers 1945 One is Ace. And the other games are passable. Soul Divide is not great. Like I said, you can buy these a lot of these separately on the eShop. Uh, if you were to buy all six games, I think there's six games. Uh, it would cost you more than a freaking helicopter an actual helicopter going past um, it would cost you more than the uh, cartridge so you might as well buy the cartridge right? don't know if you, if you like physical and I like physical get into physical let me hear your cartridge talk I don't know what's going on there there's a transforming tank I'm gonna shoot it in the face with lasers because my helicopter's got lasers. He's gonna transform into a robot and possibly spank me. Oh, look at that. Beautiful landscape. This is quite a nice looking game. And it looks more or less the same on the Dreamcast. 
So it's pretty impressive for a Dreamcast game. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I love this game back in the day on the Dreamcast, and it's pretty good on the Switch, but a bit easier. Alright then, catch you later.